Last week, the impeachment of Donald Trump ended with an acquittal in the Republican-controlled Senate. Here to talk more about it is the lady who screams outside my window, Kathy Ann. You are my gift for my birthday. It's your birthday today? Yeah, I'm turning 21. <laughs> You're 21? Yeah, can you believe it? I'm finally legal. Well, you are a lived-in 21-year-old. Oh, why, thank you for noticing. All right, so what have you been up to? I went back to school. You did? No, of course not. The hell you think this is, pretty woman? No, I got folded up in my sleeper couch and forgotten about. Are you okay? Uh, let's just say them fat masses in Cinderella were much nicer than the ones I was stuck with, okay? They didn't make me a dress so much as chew through the crotch of my sweatpants. Was, Look. No, no. So, uh, what do you think of the Senate acquitting Donald Trump? Come on, there were no damn trial. They ain't even got witnesses. You know what? I wish I could have a trial with no witnesses. However, I seem to always make my transgressions in very public places. <laughs> I mean, also, Mick McDonald's said they weren't going to find a guilty before the damn thing even started. Mick Mc... Mick McDonald's. Okay. You know who he is. No, I said it right. Sure, sure. So, do you agree with the people? We can't duck that down Mick Do you agree with the people calling a cover up? Cover up? What do you cover it? It's all out in the open, okay? That's like the time the Ikea guy walked in on me, pants down, just spider squatting over the display toilet, and I tried to say, no, it's not what it looks like. Spoiler alert, it was more than it looked like. Oh, oh God. You ever had those meatballs at Ikea? Whoo! <laughs> God, yeah. This trial is so damn corrupt. Trump's already going after anybody that did testify. I mean, he fired that lieutenant colonel and his twin brother, who didn't even have nothing to do with it. I mean, what the hell they think? He's going to parent trap himself because he's so desperate to get back there? <laughs> That's like baby Jessica getting rescued and then turning around and cannonballing back into the warehouse. <laughs> hey, she's fine. Don't hurt me. <laughs> So do you think it was a good idea to impeach him? Because some people say it could hurt the Democrats' chances in the election. No, no, no. What's going to hurt the Democrats is all the damn infighting. I mean, why do they keep going after each other about this idea of political purity? I mean, hello? It's politics. We know it ain't pure, but it's necessary. I don't go to a red roof inn and put a black light to the sheets. I know exactly why them sheets is crunchy. <laughs> but I still need a place to lay low for a spell. Kathy Ann, you are on fire. Oh, you heard about that? <laughs> what? When I caught fire, yeah, yeah. I was running into a Pollo Loco. I tripped and fell ass first into a fire grill. What were you doing running up in an Pollo Loco? Well, I wasn't really running into a Pollo Loco. I was running away from the Pizza Hut in his door. Why? Well, turns out it's true what they say. You can do all the crack in the world, but you still can't out Pizza the Hut. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I think that's enough. Do you have anything else you want to say? Oh, yeah, yeah. Go Parasite. Oh, you like that movie? No, no. I want my Parasite to go. Happy <laughs> end, everybody. Happy birthday, Michael Chase. Everybody's invited. We need another Michael Chase.